Hello everybody and welcome back to Royalty Soaps. My name is Chris Kringle and I will be making one of the most Christmassy soaps that we are going to have this month. What could be more Christmassy than basing something off the Nutcracker Ballet? Yes, indeed, it is time for our yearly Sugar Plum Fairy. But this time, I'm making it. As always, we have a few changes to our design, but the main spirit of it has remained the same, so if you liked last year's Sugar Plum Fairy, you're gonna love this one. I cannot wait to make it. Let's go make it right now. First thing that we have to do is mix in our lye water solution into these oils, these very special oils that are specially mixed with Katie's special recipe. Now we can blend these oils up. Don't wanna blend them up too much though because we must have it liquidy. Whippity whippity, our blender head. Now let's split off some of this large bit into some smaller containers. These shall be all of the different parts of the swirl. All right, now we have our swirl itself sectioned off here. Now we can add in the colors. We're going to be using Aztec Gold, Tickle Me Pink, and Titanium Dioxide. I'm just starting by blending these in by hand. The reason is because I want them to remain as liquidy as possible, which means that I want to blend them as little and as late as possible. And of course, important to keep in mind that the fragrance oil will accelerate this a lot. So that goes in right before we pour. Oh my, that pink is aggressive, goodness. In subsequent batches, I think we will put less pigment in there, goodness. It's hard to look at, wow. Now let's get this big one colored before we do any blending. And the colors we have are Pow Pow Purple and Grape Ape. Now I know that Mad Micahs couldn't do this, but I am quite confident that they would have named Grape Ape Barney Purple if it wasn't copyrighted. Oh my, this is going to be so purple. Luckily, this fragrance is actually acting properly, unlike some this month. Whoops. So I'm just trying to pour this color down one side. Now for the pink. Trying to have it penetrate down nice and low by holding it higher. And now for the final color, a stark white. Stark white, starched white. Ooh, these colors look really good in combination on this top. It is a classic palette, I suppose. It is time for a hanger swirl using our hanger. Now, I literally have to change the length of it because I think somebody was using this for a slab. All you have to do is just make sure that it's long enough. There we go, now we're gonna push it down to the bottom. We're gonna go across, back, across, and back. Just hoping that this is making a swirling pattern. Go all the way to the bottom. Then we go across and back and across and back. Back, 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 back. Then come around, loop, and we pull it out. What excitement and intrigue. It's like there's a present underneath this surface. Just waiting for us to uncover it. Would anybody like to get hired as a royalty soaps minion that can just clean off our molds for us? Hmm? I know, it's a tantalizing offer. Soap makers out there, what would you do to have some elves that come in at night that do all of the cleaning? I'd kill for one of those boys. Our base is complete. Now it is time to mix up the piping. Huh? Where's our soapy music? Aren't you supposed to be fast forwarding this part, Kenny? Nay, we only fast forward if the piping is boring, like one color or something. This is a little bit more interesting. We are going to add in titanium dioxide straight into the lye water. This just saves time. Now we can go ahead and dump in all of our lye water straight into our piping oils and give it a pleasant blend. Strike that, give it a friendly blend. Shh. 
So now I'm going to take our piping and split off half of it into another container. This is because this soap will have two-toned piping or dual-toned piping or a double color sandwich, which is my preference. And on the other side of the double color sandwich, we're going to put a little bit of Tickled Pink by Mad Micahs. Now this is an exceptionally powerful color. So I'm putting in very little and hopefully that will make a subtle pink. We shall see. All right, we've got our lovely pink and our lovely white loaded up into our piping bag. So now we're ready to start piping on this top. Ooh, you can see that split tone immediately. Of course, the idea whenever you do split tone is to have both of the colors. So whenever you load it into the bag, just scoop to the same side. You know what I mean? And then whenever you do this split tone, you can turn it so that you can see the transition between the colors. It's all to maximize showing off that split tone. This cotton candy has got me thinking about Adventure Time. It's Princess Bubblegum on top. I haven't watched that show in a little while, so I have missed out on all of the latest episodes before it shut off. I started watching Adventure Time late in the game after it had already been airing for a while. Whenever I was maybe 18, I think I started watching it. Laughing my buns off at everything, especially the Earl Lemon Grab. Mm. And then, like the good boy that I am, I showed it off to my parents because I like to share my weird shows with them and just see if it sticks, see if they like it. And they loved Adventure Time, especially my dad. So much so that my mother bought for Father's Day and for his birthday different seasons of Adventure Time. Now that I think about it, I was also the one to introduce the family to Studio Ghibli in general. And now the whole family is on a crusade to watch every single Ghibli movie. Or at least they're gonna watch every one that I recommend. Oh my goodness, I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel just to get some more piping. <laughs> All right, that's gonna have to do. On to the embeds. What we have here can only be described as purple candy curls. All embeds made by Shelly. The Empress of Embeds. Speaking of Shelley, the Empress of Embeds, I was talking about introducing shows, and one of the shows that I showed, shows that I showed, to my family after Caleb clued me in on it is Over the Garden Wall. And the Empress of Embeds is not one for spooky things. She truly gets spooked and does not like it. So whenever we suckered her into watching that show, I was wondering how long she'd be able to last. She watched to the end of the show, but let me tell you, her eyes were bugging out the entire time. And after every episode, she just looked around and said, jeez. Every time that the beast was on screen, her eyes couldn't have been larger. I'm not sure if that was torture or if we were culturing her, but what's done is done. These embeds kind of remind me of a purple fruit roll-up. Now I want my grapefruit roll-up. Where's my grapefruit roll-up at? And now for the cherry on top, or in this case, the plum on top. It looks like I'll be making two soaps this month that have our signature royalty soaps gumball. I don't know why, but it's just winter time brings back some classic royalty soaps and Katie can't help herself with the big signature gumball. Though you have to admit it is most fitting on a soap like this. Sugar plum, you know there's got to be a big plum. Ain't got no seed, ain't got no stem, but you know it's the plum. Speaking of plum, this is the best transition ever. Clue! I always play Professor Plum. If I can't play Professor Plum, I don't play, okay? Do you understand? He's nerdy, he's smart, he's very likely a partaker of anime. He is me. And I used to have glasses, okay? So I relate to Professor Plum on a spiritual level. Katie can have her Miss Peacock or Miss White. She doesn't really care as long as it says Miseries on the front. Me? Plum every day. I don't want to be colonial slash Colonel Mustard. Who spelled Colonel like that? Were they just trying to be mean to people that are trying to immigrate to America or England? That is just cruelty. You spell Colonel, you better spell it like popcorn. Oh, you think we're done? Of course we're not done. There must always be sparkles. And recently, we've always been putting on a sparkle from Eco Stardust. They make so many different custom glitters that there's always one that fits with our palette. We can't resist. Got some silver, it's got some red, oh my. A raspberry ripple indeed. Now I don't wanna put on too much of this glitter because we're not trying to make 
the top steal the show, let's be honest, the middle is going to be the main event for this soap. We're gonna lock in all that glitter and seal up all those embeds using some rubbing alcohol, which we will spritz on. And now we can take a close up look at the lovely Sugar Plum Fairy. Aha, uh -huh. so candy, so fancy. Look at those curls. Delicious looking. I don't even know what candy looks like them, but I want a bite right now. The big gumball on top, the perfect glitter. Oh, you know this one's a winner, but we're just looking at the tops. You're gonna wanna stick around because right after this quick commercial break, we're gonna chop this open and take a look at how I did on that swirl. What have we got here? It matches the cutter. Are you kidding me? All right, we'll just take it out of this mold liner and onto the chop block. We'll lay it down to preserve the lovely top. Look at that purple color. My goodness, that is vibrant. And let's just line up our purple, purple cutter on the purple cut E. Looks like some of these embeds were put in by an imbecile. All right, let's just Push down gently. Gently! Katie has said, don't look at the samples. <laughs> so the samples will remain where they are, and we'll take a look in the middle. I am nervous about this butterfly swirl. I don't think I've ever done one before. Not on purpose, anyway. Oh! Success! Look at that butterfly. Let's see if our butterfly has spread her wings. <gasps> Yes, it's beautiful. Put that in the local newspaper. Boy succeeds. I just want to keep opening up these swirls. What do we got? Mmm, peekaboo. <gasps> that looks so good. I'm legit so impressed. I can't believe this is your first time doing this. Thank goodness. I was so nervous. <laughs> I am so happy that I have done this soap properly. This is always one of our favorite soaps to do, the Sugar Plum Fairy. An absolute classic. Just take a gander. This makes me want to do some sort of summertime monarch butterfly design. This one looks like two hearts. <gasps> oh my gosh. Perf that is the cutest thing I have ever seen. Just in time for Valentine's Day. Not really. The question of the day is, what is your favorite song in the Nutcracker Ballet? I've got to say, I do love the Russian dancing, but Princess Buttersweets, or whatever she's called, <laughs> with all of her children, that's my favorite one. Be sure to click the eye on the upper right hand corner to vote. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so proud of this swirl. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more soapy videos, we make two a week here on Royalty Soap, so be sure to subscribe. I have a personal Instagram. Katie has a personal Instagram. There's even a business Instagram. Follow them all! And we are out here in the loud and wild outdoors for me to test out these butterfly wings. They sure look good, and I want to see if they work properly. So I'll see you next time!